Welcome to the Oz Mining YouTube channel. I thought I'd do a bit of a longer update today. I uh, quite like using the uh, shorts format, but one thing I realized is if you don't do enough longer videos, you kind of lose your uh, user's time uh, on the channel, and that sort of goes against you a little bit. So I thought uh, I'd better step up a little bit today and do a bit more of a proper longer video. So hello everyone. Yeah, what I thought I'd just do is a quick tour around the farm, talk about some things I'm doing right now. It's early May 2024, so interesting times. It's almost a couple years since the ETH moved to proof of stake. We've just had the Bitcoin halving. We've had some pretty good GPU times the last six months, I'd say, but it feels like we're going through a little bit of a rocky patch at the moment. So it's, uh, yeah, I'll let you know what, I, what I'm getting up to. So. Yeah, overall the farm's in a little bit of a state of flux. Uh, not literally, my flux rig is off here at the moment, it needs a little bit of TLC, but I've got probably about half of my 120 GPUs mining at the moment. The other half are really just going through some transition. There's some older ones I'm looking to sell, and uh, there's some I just need to put onto rigs and get, and get mining. But yeah, let, let me show you what I've got in here. Look, I do have a few mini ASICs inside the house. It's getting cold here now in Sydney, Australia. So those are just great now to mine, heat the house up, cuts my power bills down massively. So incrementally, I'm, I'm making some good profits on them, uh, just offsetting my electricity bill, even if those ASICs themselves are not that profitable. The ones in the house are mainly the, the mini gold shell type ASICs. I've got a few in here though, these are the Ice River KS0 Pros here, they're not overclocked, they're just standard, pumping away here, uh, they're already fully ROI, they're just uh, just making increment 10, 20, 30 caspers a day, and I've actually got two more of the commemorative green versions that I actually need to switch on, just haven't had time, and uh, yeah, look, caspers down at the moment, but I'm still pretty bullish on caspers, so, you know, if we got back to all-time highs, the uh, I guess product the profitability of these would just double overnight or however long that that took to get back to the all time high. So yeah, got them pumping away. They behave themselves. Uh, don't need too much uh, attention. And then here, uh, yeah, I've got a rig. I, I tried some CPU mining. I need to get back to it, but I sort of pause that for now just with other projects and things I have on. Up here we have a rig. It's going to be a 13 GPU rig. I've started building it out with some. Some Gigabyte, uh, those are the Vision Gigabytes there, really nice looking cards, got some Gigabyte Gamings and a few other cards at the back there, uh, just mixed cards, I think there's a Dell one back there. On this I'm mining Pyrin and I'm currently mining that to Unminable and I am generating, I th think, Bitcoin with that one. So, um, yeah, so that's running quite nicely. I have seen a few videos about uh, Unminable being maybe not the most profitable, I, I guess, uh, vehicle to use, but I really like it, it works well for me. I can put my most profitable algorithms on a mineable, and it saved me out of the sell stuff, rebuy it. So look, I'll, I'll give a mineable a thumbs up, pretty happy with the service. They can improve prof profitability a little bit, great, bring it on, but I'm, I'm happy the way it is. Uh, down there is a rig I've recently completed. This is a MSI Gaming X rig. It's a mix of 3070s, I think there's one 3060 Ti on there, and there's a few 3070 Ti's on there. This is pumping away on, I, I think that's on Pyron as well, to be honest. I've got mo most things are on uh, Pyron at the moment, uh, either mining directly to a wallet or uh, mining to uh, a mineable and paying out in Bitcoin. Got another rig over there. Again, that's on on Pyron algorithm, and I think I think pretty much all my rigs mostly are on Pyron at the moment. One thing I did want to talk to you about is yeah, this rig over here. This is my 13 GPU RX 6600 rig. Although there are a couple of XTs back there as well. That was mining a lithium for over a year. So really happy I got into lithium. I haven't sold anything, so I've built up a nice little stockpile of lithium. It is down a bit at the moment, but I think I'm pretty bullish on that with the assets coming on my online. It does make me a bit sad, but we'll just sit back now and hopefully see a lithium uh, go to the moon or, or, or whatever. So now it is interesting. I And actually I'll bring the screen up over here. I was, I was looking at uh, what's profitable at the moment using 
hashray.no and yeah let's have a look so lithium has just disappeared it's pretty much i would say lithium was number one on these cars these uh, rx 6600s the best part of the year number one coins you know sometimes other coins will just jump up for a day or two but yeah can we find it now and look i would say with these cards you look at, they are profitable uh, i'm not sure i've got, I've got 10 cents a kilowatt here uh, that's us dollars i'm probably running around uh, I'd say eight to ten cents Aussie cents, so per kilowatt. It's probably around I don't know, say six or seven, because I do have around thirty kilowatts of solar which I use all day during the day, and that really offsets and averages out my power costs down to definitely sub ten cents a kilowatt in Aussie dollars, which is great. So if I look at their profitability on that. And remember, I'm probably doing a little bit better than this because I've got 10 cents over here US instead of around, I'd say, say five to six. Is you're looking at you, you want you're generating around say 30 cents per card a day and profitability around 10 to 15 cents a day. And look, I'll probably say I'm generating around 15 cents a day if we just get those numbers right in there. So the whole rig, probably around, you know, $1.50, $2 a day. But, you know, over a month, that all, all builds up. And it's not necessarily around out-and-out -out profit in the moment. It's actually around just stacking coins, putting them away, and then we'll hold them until we hopefully see them uh, rise again in price. The name of the game right now, I think it is. So let's just have a scroll down, though, and let's see if we can find our old friend, Alethium. Not there, we're going down, Nautilus, no. there we go, Elithium. So look at that, Elithium's come right down here. Look, it's not making a loss uh, at the moment. So you could generate around 10 uh, US cents revenue and you'll be break even on the profit. So yeah, but it's, it's not really worth mining that at all now that we've got all the assets and the FGPAs um, up online as well now. So let's just go back up to the top. So yeah, I turned this off for a few days. I really mulled over what to start mining on this now. And you might be a bit surprised. I thought I'd have a little bit of fun with it. There are a few things I do want to mine with this uh, rig longer term. But I'll show you what I'm mining right now. And you know, I think I'm probably just having a little bit of fun, but you never know. So let's have a look what's really going strong for the RX 600s at the moment. Uh, this dual mining iron, iron fishing gram. And I'd say generally, you know, individually mining iron fishing gram stack up at the moment as profitability. We've got Sky Doge here, a bit of a kind of a meme coin off um, Sky Doge is pretty, pretty strong. And look, again, looking at the profitabilities, they're in that sort of nine or 10 cents a card. I've got 13 of them here. And revenue is about almost 30, well, almost 30 cents in the dual mining iron fishing gram. You know, one thing I do always look at here, which I think is pretty important is it's important to look at not just the out and out profit, but the profit, they don't have profit per kilowatt, but if you go to revenue per kilowatt, this probably shows a bit more efficiency on what you can mine. So you see here the dual mining ones actually fall away. And I have actually rarely seen dual mining pay off in terms of efficiency. It allows you to maybe generate more revenue, more coin, but generally it's not the most efficient thing to be doing. You're actually better off splitting your rig and doing half a GPUs on iron fish and half on gram than doing all the GPUs on dual mining. So yeah, what's at the top at the moment? We've got iron fish there, we've got gram, we've got this coin called Sky Doge, then we've got iron fish and gram dual mining. Uh, then we have our friend Pyrin, which again, I find Pyrin's better on the, um, the Nvidia GPUs. Let's just go down a little bit further, conceal. We've got uh, some other dual mining coins in there, bit of Carlson, remember Carlson, um, still going away there. But it, anyway, let's go to the top. And what I am mining right now is, da da da, actually Sky Doge. So yesterday it was by far and above the most profitable coin. And uh, yeah, I thought, look, let, let's just mine some of it. It generates per GPU 12,000 Sky Doge per day. So running the 13 GPUs, I can generate easily over 100,000 Sky Doge a day. Look, it's in a 0.000, 000 sort of cents range. But you know what, I'm gonna have some fun. I think I'm gonna stack maybe a million or 10 million Sky Doge, 
and let's let's just see it's a little bit of a meme coin seems like they're doing some kind of projects it might just be a total shit coin but look i, I thought i'd have a bit of fun for a month and just stack some sky doge i think what i'm going to do then is i probably will start to build a little bit of an iron fish bag i am already actually apologies Earlier when I said I was doing some mining or pirate, I actually am mining some of these rigs directly to a gram wallet. So all mining gram, which is like a ton coin variant, to a, uh, a directly to a wallet. So I am also uh, stacking a little bit of gram at the moment, not selling it, just stacking some to see how that uh, pans out. And look, what I might also do with these RX 600s is they're not too bad on the uh, Kapow algorithm. So I might actually mine and might split the GPUs, maybe six and seven. I'm looking to maybe build a little bit of Raven coin and also some Neoxa. I think a Neoxa node might be another thing that I might work on a project. I think you need a million Neoxa for a node. So I'm gonna get some Sky Doge, have a bit of fun. You never know. Let me see if I can do with one hand, if we go to, I think it's um, Coin Gecko. And let's just see if we can look at Sky Doge very quickly. Um, here we go. Sky. Sky, where is it? Doge. Here we go, Sky Doge Net. Here we go. Yes, yeah, so actually, look, 24 hours, a bit, bit of action there. Running low on batteries, have to finish this in a minute. Yeah, so Skydash actually on a little bit of a run at the moment, if we look at the last few days. It's been down to like 0.0012 of a cent, up to almost 0.002 of a cent. So some good, like 16% rise there. I think a lot of coins have bounced back the last few days with Bitcoin coming back up. If we go like one year here, been up as high as 0.03 and it's down in a sort of 0.015 so look even this goes back to where it has been early this year there could be a double or a triple up on the profitability and you know you never know a coin like this i think the market cap is about a million dollars these things can size just jump up to like 20 million dollars quite easy so that could be a 20x so anyway having a bit of fun mining some sky doge yeah but i really just need to get back to getting this rig cleaned up, get all my other GPUs up and running. You know, some people are a bit worried about profitability right now, but I actually think it's a great time to mine right now because you can do a lot of yield mining. When the prices are low and some of the hash rate drops off, other bigger miner farms switch off or even home miners with high power rates, it's a great time to yield mine, which means you're gonna mine, your profitability might not be that strong, but you're gonna stack a lot of coins and that can be useful if you don't have to sell, put them aside, keep them safe and then wait for the next spike up in prices. So and this is not financial advice, but just saying that I have the luxury of being able to do, I don't have to sell to pay my power bill. And then the only other thing I'm gonna be doing this weekend here in Australia is it's getting cold again. So I have these vented ducts up here, which go to some high power fans. I'm actually gonna be at the moment they come up into the roof void and out on the side of the mining garage into the, the cold air. But it's getting cold inside the house now, so I'm actually gonna change the conduit and I'm gonna be putting it into the house and I'm gonna heat the house up for winter. Happy wife, happy life, the kids will be happy. It means I don't have to switch on my heating, so mining is great for the family. And yeah, that's my quick wrap up. So yeah, sorry I haven't done too many of these longer videos. I will get better, I'll do a few more. I've been a little bit on the YouTube shorts and doing a lot of things on Twitter. All right, chat soon guys, take care, and I will speak to you really soon. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, let me know how you go with the Sky Doge.